I'm Dr. Gay Santa Ana, Department Manager, Clinical Safety and Risk Management, Quality Management Division. Continuing process assessment and enhancement is a tested concept and strategy for Makati Medical Center. It started when the hospital leadership decided to establish a framework for high-quality care, risk management, and data-driven performance through international accreditation and national regulatory compliance. Hospital and department level culture building initiatives were implemented. Through the years, connections were created and revealed the big picture, which is the Makati Medical Center Culture of Safety, Quality, and Compliance. The CSQC program represents the commitment and defines how MMC will achieve its vision and mission. It is also based on the established quality principles and in alignment with the accreditation standards and regulatory authority requirements. Its aim is to provide high quality care not only to patients, but to visitors and employees. High quality means safe, effective, appropriate, patient-centered, accessible, and efficient services. The CSQC program is founded on the following. Patient visitor experience, programs, policies, and procedures, performance and compliance monitoring, rewards and quality improvements, supported by the four pillars, clinical outcomes, operational efficiencies, facilities, infrastructure, financial stability and supported or strengthened by regular communication, provision of education and training, and availability of resources. The program is structured to ensure a comprehensive approach to patient safety through the collaboration of the following program proponents, governance and hospital leadership, department leadership, the quality, safety, and compliance champions, Quality Management Division, and the Hospital License and Accreditation Division. Governance and hospital leadership allocates the resources for staff training and development, technological and other support required to meet the requirements or the mission and vision for the CSQT program. This is through the Senior Quality Management Council, wherein the members meet uh, members meet monthly and then they review data obtained from the declared clinical and managerial monitors and then the reporting of the improvement activities. The department leadership sets at least one performance indicator in each department. And the QSCCs, they handle the cascade and implementation of all the hospital's quality, safety, and compliance-related activities within his or her assigned division or department. Each LAD is the single point of contact when it comes to local and inter international accreditation bodies, and they conduct the internal quality surveys for monitoring. The Quality Management Division coordinates the CSQC program activities. To operationalize the program, these are some of the activities implemented year-round. For guidance, policies, programs, and procedures are in place. Indicators are monitored to assess performance implemented. And continuing improvements are also conducted. And these are reported to the leadership in aid of their decision-making and strategic planning. So to measure the effectiveness of the CSQC program, a culture of safety survey is conducted every other year. So to share with you the 2021 results, there are 3,131 respondents to the survey. And these are the ratings of the following composites. We can see that our strength is on organizational learning, continuous improvement. And then the average composite 
average percentage for all the composites is 78%, that is significantly higher compared to our external benchmark, which are U.S. hospitals. We have a central repository of our policies, programs, and procedures, and this can be accessed in our Makati Med team site. This is a challenge, a call to action. Indeed, it's no small task to put quality in our daily work, but we can start by doing things right the first time. As mentioned earlier, the Quality Management Division coordinates the activities of the CSQC program hospital-wide. There are three departments under QMD, Hospital Performance Improvement Department, Clinical Safety and Risk Management Department, and then the Patient Relations Department. The thrust of the division is to manage quality and patient safety activities, measure selection and data collection, analysis and validation of measurement data, and to gain and sustain improvement. Incident reports management is one of the major activities of our CSQC program. This is the high-level process. It starts with incident reporting, the conduct of the root cause analysis at the department level, and then a multidisciplinary RCA is conducted as needed. This will be followed by the preventive action plan and the monitoring of the evidence of preventive action plan implementation. We use the system approach in the implementation of this whole process. It means that we focus on work conditions, but when we identify um, uh, accountability issues or reckless behavior, this is processed by the line heads based on the code of conduct. The goal of our incident reports management is to learn from the errors, improve our system, and prevent recurrence. Safety event is defined as an incident or condition that could have resulted or did result in harm to patient, staff, or visitor. These are the common types of safety events that we have encountered. Safety events should be reported within one to two days from the date when the event occurred and when or when first became aware of the event. And this can be done through the Automated Complaints and Incidents Tracking System or ASICS. The medical staff and house staff can course it through the Viber. Please take note of this CSRM Viber. And please ensure the completeness of the pertinent information. During the root cause analysis, we categorize the incidents based on the following. If it's a hazardous condition, near miss event, no harm event, or adverse event, Sentinel event. Once Sentinel event is identified, this is processed through the Sentinel event committee. These are some strategies to ensure safety. Pay attention to details. Stop, think, act, and review. Communicate clearly. Validate and verify. Stop actions when unsure. Hand off effectively. Use the S-Bar or SOEP. Do peer checking and peer coaching. Thank you.